when my brother went to jail, I don't know how he ran into Paris. He seen him, Kevin spit for him. Paris wouldn't leave him alone, man. He was like, he was on him, man. He had to have him, my brother kept saying like, We'd wake up in the morning, Paris be right there to get him. And my brother just kept going with him, kept going with him. And before you know it, man, came home with the knick-knack paddy whack. I heard it, and it just started from there. Me and Paris, we met when we were little kids. I, his brother was like a mentor to me. Uh, James Smith, very shout out to James Smith. Real good guy, kept me safe, you know, kept me on the mic as a little kid. You know, I would open up for Van Bada. I would, you know, go places with him, you know. He was like a mentor in the neighborhood. And Paris being his little brother, you know, got a chance to hear me rhyme, you know. And the, uh, it was a relationship sparked through the business, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, we had success. But he really wasn't the producer I needed, I think. You know, like, Eric was the main producer in EPMD. Uh, but me and P, we did okay with the album, but it could have, I think it would have been a lot different if um, we did just let Eric produce the album and let Paris just do the business, you know? My question was... Might have been around 11 or 12. I woke up, man, my brother was in jail, right? So he comes home, I wake up, my brother's out of jail. He's over me, like, I remember that as a kid upstairs in the room on 42. So he's there, man, and we just talking all night. He's telling me stories. He's rapping for me a little bit, and I'm just intrigued by the wordplay of it. And I got him up all night. I'm like, yo, kick another one, kick another one, kick another one. And it's like unheard of, because I believe, like, my brother came home within three months from him being home he was on a record on the, on the knick-knack paddy rack. Kevin Madison, to most his name was K-Solo. Introduced by EPMD and the Hit Squad. Solo put Central Islip New York on the map by introducing the world to the song Spellback. Like this. Hey, what I'm about to say may hit a lot of people in a real strange way. Some said I should have spelled this a long time ago, but I stayed amateur while others turned pro. And it still didn't hit me yet then because I was so young at the time. I was still in school, and I'm just thinking it's just a regular record, you know what I mean? The tape. K Solo, who was discovered by Parrish at a hometown house party on Long Island, says there is a variety of musical styles among Hit Squad members. It's really hard to compare us together because everybody's different. Red Man is strictly funk. It's the funkadelic red man, and I hit you with the funkadelic level. Like Doss effects, you know, their sewer concept and their rhyme style. It's bubbity bubbity. I can't even impersonate it, you know what I'm saying? So it's totally different. And EPMD is strictly slow funk. To attack, you me the E double. Come here, PMD like the funk is plus When the album dropped, man, that's when it got crazy, I guess, around here, man. You know, people start asking me things. Let me see this. Yo, this is the house. It was just crazy. I never really took it all in, man, because, you know, I was just so young and I didn't know what was really going on, but people would just. It flocked to my brother, man. It flocked to him. With his passion for wordplay, and at the time one of the most unique flows, K Solo immediately began grabbing attention from mainstream media. The Hit Squad, which consists of Das FX, Redman, and K Solo, all of whom are managed and produced by EPMD members Eric Sermon and Parrish Smith. <laughs> 